Autopsy doctors of Reddit, what was the biggest revelation you had to a person's death after you carried out the procedure? Mystery of stuff. When I worked for the ME office, a pathologist came and got all of us to check out a post she was doing. The guy had what's called situs inversus. All his organs were backward. Left lung on the right, stomach on the right etc etc no mention of it in his medical history. Worked at an animal hospital. They did necropsies for zoos all the time. An alligator died, and they shipped it to the hospital, refrigerated etc to stop the decay. They took it out and put it up on the table. After doing all the paperwork, they started opening up the alligator. After the first cut, the alligator opened its eyes. Turns out it wasn't dead, the zoo vet mistook an illness for death and the low temperature put it basically into a coma. Edit, unfortunately this is all the information I know on this story. It's been 7 years since I worked at that place. I worked at a coroner's office for a while and once we had a guy who we thought had died from an OD on meth. Well we started the autopsy, and I went to cut his lungs out and blueberry muffin mix started coming out of them. I stuck my finger in his mouth, and it was full of blueberry muffin mix. And it was in throat. Turns out he got just high enough to pass out while eating the muffin mix, and he ended up choking to death. I did the autopsy of both a robber and his victim. The robber shot the victim in the back when he tried to escape in a motorcycle, and the robber was shot by the police in the exact same situation. What's interesting is that they both died by exactly the same lesion. Both of them had their fourth lumbar vertebra shattered and their aorta, main artery of the body, sectioned at the same level. I thought of it like an extreme example of instant karma. As a student in the medical field, I had the opportunity to visit a cadaver lab. I was very surprised to see how many people had died from choking. Out of the 12 or so cadavers in the lab that day, at least 7 or 8 were from choking. I went home and immediately looked up how to perform self-Heimlich. Training in the medical examiner's office. Elderly woman found dead by herself in her home. There was nothing suspicious so I was given the case. Took out all the organs, dissected everything, completely unremarkable. I cut through the larynx as the last step before I could clean up and finish the case and boom, giant piece of chicken lodged in her windpipe. Died choking on dinner. I was an investigator for a state medical examiner for just over two years. Had a mom that had drank herself to death according to the husband after relapsing on Mother's Day weekend. I just felt like something was off. Sent her for an autopsy. Had a ruptured liver where dude had essentially beat her till she internally bled to death. Later, while out on bail, he stole a semi-truck, crashed it in a pond, got out shooting at a deputy, and they killed him. Saved the taxpayers a good chunk of money. When my parents were in medical school they attended an autopsy of a patient who had died in a car accident. Autopsy revealed that apparently this guy had survived a chest shot in Vietnam years ago that the surgeon slash medics left in rather than perform risky surgery, the accident had migrated the bullet to his heart and was ruled the cause of death. This story circulates every year at my medical school. A body came in with a gunshot wound to the chest. There was no exit wound. They tried to locate the bullet during the autopsy. No success. They then did a whole scan, x-ray or CT, of the upper chest slash abdomen slash pelvis. No bullet dot at that point someone said fuck it let's scan the whole body. Lo and behold the bullet was detected in the popliteal fossa, area behind the knee. It had embolized slash traveled from the heart all the way down the arterial system to the knee where it got stuck in one of the narrower blood vessels. My grandmother had a massive stroke in her 30s that paralyzed her entire left side and died in her 60s from a heart attack, but while doing the autopsy they found out she had bad lung cancer, but she never had any pain from it because it was in her left lung. She was a very heavy smoker, so it made sense, it's just crazy that she had lung cancer and never knew. Sheep farmer, I have to know how to do a necropsy for when something dies to know if it's something that could spread. 
How do you fall over dead after losing a ton of weight and after treating her for everything under the sun? She would gasp for air and struggle to breathe, but antibiotics, steroids, and anti inflammatory drugs didn't touch it. She finally passed away, and I cut her open to see what the hell happened, fully expecting to see her lungs riddled with shit. Her heart was five times the normal size and hard as a river stone. My guess is she'd had that issue her whole life, and it didn't kill her until she was two. I was in charge of making copies of all evidence to be used in the trial of Donald Harvey in 1989. He was known as the Angel of Death. One bit of evidence was an autopsy photo of an exhumed elderly woman. The examiner was holding with tweezers an 18 piece of cotton being pulled from her throat. Harvey liked to stuff cotton so far down into the victim's throats that it could not be seen. I still can't shake the image from my brain. Mystery of Stuff